Hello, and welcome, and this is obviously Mass Effect. I have been considering another playthrough. I'm, I'm not quite sure I'm going to carry through with this playthrough. Uh, there's quite a bit of time commitment into, you know, uploading the videos and all. Uh, so I wanted to see if there were any people that might be interested in this before I commit, but I wanted to do the first episode where I introduce this character. Now, one viewer commented that perhaps I could do a shepherd that was kind of a version of a fail shepherd. And what does that mean to be a fail shepherd? Well, it's I don't think I want a shepherd that is kill everybody, everybody dies kind of shepherd. Rather, this would be a, sh although there will be casualties, rather this would be a shepherd who tries to achieve a certain persona, certain outcomes, and fails to achieve those because really he just doesn't necessarily really have what it takes. And in particular, I picked a spacer, ruthless engineer. Now, he grew up in the Alliance. His mom and dad were both in the military, and he, from a young age, wanted to be in the military too, and he wanted to be a hero in a big way. But then he was also fascinated by engineering and tech kind of stuff, and, and doing that, made him seem kind of nerdy and people kind of looked down on him and he kind of resented that he wanted to join the, the, the military and and be a hero and yet he was also attracted by tech kind of stuff and which seemed to him it was presented as kind of the anti-hero kind of thing kind of the nerd um, thing and he always resented that and he wanted some way to overcome it and that happened on Torfin and Torfin of course the story is Shepard will do whatever it takes to get the job done he's ruthless the thing about Torfin for this Shepard is that yeah he got most of his squad killed and he did accomplish the mission but the reason most of his squad dies is because of screw-ups on his part. But nevertheless, uh, the mission got done, and he was able to paint it as not a failure on his part, but part of what it took to get the mission done. And in fact, uh, people have heard about how he shot Batarians as they were surrendering. That was actually a moment of panic on his part, and you know adrenaline flowing through him it wasn't really like vengeance or anything like that it was just kind of like <clears throat> just holding down the trigger wildly shooting <clears throat> at these four-eyed guys at any rate he developed this reputation then as being a badass which was like kind of what he wanted to overcome that nerd that nerdy image as an engineer and he wants to hold on to that idea as being a, a super badass you know it's like he feels like it gets him the kind of respect that he wants the problem is he's he's not really a super badass and when push comes to shove uh, he, he kind of can't carry through he, he can he can act like a total jerk, and he does act, he's going to act like a total jerk quite a bit. But then, when push comes to shove, he can't actually be the badass that he's trying to project. So let me give you one example of what I see happening here. On Vermeer, when you uh, Shepard has to confront Rex, uh, Tristan, who is the name this Shepard is going to be named Tristan, is kind of kind of freak out when Rex pulls out that gun on him and rather than shoot him himself he's going to signal Ashley to do it because he can't bring himself to do it he's, he's scared somewhat 
And so he signals Ashley to kill him. That's the kind of thing I'm thinking about in the, in the idea of a fail shepherd. Or another thing I'm thinking about is this shepherd is going to crave the approval of strong personalities. But he's also going to be somewhat intimidated by them. So he's going to be somewhat intimidated by Ashley. He's going to be intimidated by Miranda. And so I'm going to do the uh, Reaper IFF right after the disabled collector vessel. And I want to do that so I can get Legion, and I want to run some missions with Legion that I've never run bef with him before. So, for instance, we could um, do the tally recruitment mission with Legion. That should be interesting. And then after you get do two missions after the Disabled Reaper, you are going to get the kidnapping. And now at that point, Miranda's going to insist that the crew's not ready, that not all of them are in tip-top shape, and that the mission comes first, and, and Shepard is going to defer to that, and we're going to end up losing the crew on this playthrough. So this is the kind of thing I mean by a fail Shepard. So he, he wants to be this hero, but he also wants to be seen as a badass, and he acts socially, dialogue-wise, like a badass, but when push comes to shove, he can't really carry through. So, for instance, with, with Shiala, he won't kill her, or Rana Synoptis on Vermar, he won't kill her either. Uh, but he's always trying to seem like, oh yeah, I'm super bad, I'm, I'm really bad. Uh, and as far as a romance is concerned, he's going to be attracted to Tally. Uh, they're both engineers. And uh, Tally, unlike, say, Ashley or Miranda, Tally uh, practically worships the ground Shepard walks on. And this is something Shepard can, like, handle. He's like, wow, I don't, she's not a threat to me at all. I can, I can deal with this. So he's going to end up with uh, Tally. So that's the idea behind this shepherd is somebody who was an accidentally became seen as a badass, as ruthless. But it was all because of mistakes he made and not because of superior skills or anything like that or so forth. And he's trying to live up to his reputation, but he keeps kind of failing all the time. So that's my vision for Tristan Shepard here. Now I'm going to do an to Alliance military database. I'm going to do a new game plus Classified here. Classified information requested. I don't know that we're going to be picking very many persuade options with this character. Um <coughs> that wouldn't fit with the fail motif is to pass all these persuade checks. Nevertheless, I did want to, in certain cases, perhaps be able to have the option to pass certain persuade checks. And also I can save time because I don't have to actually open any crates. I have all the equipment I need. Um, I don't have to, you know, spend any time bypassing stuff because this is a new game plus. So that'll speed things up where we can concentrate more on the story than on just opening up crates and inventory management kind of stuff there. So I've already run them through this. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Now just to find him, where is he? How come I got so many 50, 55 versions of him? I don't get it. All right. Well, here he is. Level 59 engineer.
Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Alright, I'm gonna end it right here. As you can see, Shep's got all the Spectre weapons. Not that he can use all of them, but it looks better to have all that Spectre stuff. Colossus armor, all this nice stuff. And, you know, you look in the equipment section, you see he's got plenty of this stuff to hand out to his squad as well. There is his, his uh, point allocation there. At any rate, uh... I would hope to hear from somebody about 
perhaps how long these videos should be my thinking is 20 minutes 25 minutes half hour max uh, I, I want them to be in bite-sized chunks any ideas on how to progress this story uh, what would be good ideas for making this story work about our our wannabe badass here? Uh, anybody got any kind of comments on that kind of thing? I'd, I'd love to hear it uh, on how to make this playthrough work as a, an interesting story of a fail, a, a version of a fail shepherd. Remember, this is not about killing everybody. This is about trying to be something and then failing at it uh, people will die in the process but um, that's not the major point all right at any rate that's enough for this episode i don't know when there'll be another one if or even if there'll be another one but for now have a nice day